For eight decades, they have held their ground. against the advance of trains, planes, and automobiles. They've stood tall, giving not an inch to urban sprawl. This sea of souls in waves of graves. You'll never know just how much I miss you. At Fort Snelling, National Cemetery. And if I tried, I still couldn't hide my love for you. The future home of Anne Stephan and the current address of her husband, Ronnie. I know you didn't want to go. And I know for your sake it was better, but I do miss you. I usually come twice, maybe three times a week to have lunch with him. Oh, you sweetheart. You are my love. Anne's husband died nearly two years ago. Like any good Marine, Ronnie could appreciate the order here, the symmetry, a place where privates and generals are entitled to the same slab of marble, two feet, turf to top. It's just almost like a parade with all the soldiers coming, <laughs> all in formation. Were it a city, Fort Snelling National Cemetery would be Minnesota's third largest, more than two and a half times the population of Duluth. 228,000 service people, their spouses, and young children, sharing America's fourth busiest National Cemetery. The first burial at uh, Fort Snelling National Cemetery back in July of 1939. A gentleman by the name of George Mallon. Uh, he was a Medal of Honor recipient from World War I. Farm fields surrounded the burial of Captain Mallon. Fire! Fire! With 436 empty acres of possibility. At the time, the newspaper articles built it as the Arlington of the West. Among the early burials, soldiers moved here from the former cemetery at Old Fort Snelling. This is where a lot of the disinterments and reinterments were done. Poor record keeping at the fort meant 280 arrived, unknown. But even they earned a space all the riches in the world cannot buy. Bill Gates cannot be buried in this cemetery because he didn't earn the right to be buried here. But Carolyn K. Benjamin did, paid by the military service of Larry Benjamin. My wife, she was a very loving, nurturing person. And just being here gives you a sense of some peace or comfort. Yeah. The beauty of this area, even the birds or the animals you occasionally see out here just to give you a a sense of love for my wife. Think of every one of these headstones as being a, a brick in a national shrine. A shrine to the dead, yet living and evolving with 5,300 new arrivals each year. On behalf of the president, the Armed Forces of the United States and a grateful nation is of honor I present you this flag as a symbol of the great republic for which William so honorably served. Fort Snelling National Cemetery. It's like a, a fraternity in a way. It's a special place for special people. Amid the rush of progress, a place of tranquility. Amid the deceased, a respite for the living. Mm, I love you, sugar. Oh, my boy. And in a world of broken promises, one kept. I'll see you soon, sweetheart. I'll be back. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News, <sighs> Fort Snelling National Cemetery. <laughs>